After last year's weather brought unprecedented travel delays, we're checking in with the Bozeman Yellowstone Airport to see how they're holding up this holiday season. The difference in weather from this year to last year was incredibly different. If you'll kind of compare to last year, I think we're about 90 degrees warmer uh, today than we were a year ago. So uh, obviously that makes a big difference in travel. Brian Sprenger, airport CEO, says that despite the warm weather, they still hope to see travelers taking advantage of the ski season. You know, I think we're pretty uh, cautiously optimistic that, uh, you know, we'll continue to have a pretty good start of the uh, ski season. In fact, some travelers are already on their way to experience these famous slopes. My friend and I just decided to come to Montana. The northeast got rained out, and so we said, where's good skiing? Oh. <laughs> As the Department of Transportation issues penalties to Southwest Airlines for its handling of last year's holiday travel, Sprenger explains how the Bozeman Airport is learning from that debacle. Well, I think in, as in any industry, anytime when there's a uh, situation that uh, challenges uh, the industry, uh, there's room for improvement and room for, uh, you know, uh, really paying attention to what can be done better. The Bozeman Airport has seen a more than 50% increase in travelers since COVID, encouraging the development of better baggaging systems, parking, and more to improve the customer experience. This is my first time at Bozeman Airport. It's a lovely airport. Uh, I, th I feel like I've been to like a good number of airports, and this one's definitely got like more of a rustic feel to it, and I really like that. Sprenger reminds visitors that they can prepare for busy holiday travel by showing up early for their flights. In Bozeman, Heaven Van, MTN News.